Here we are at our famous marina, Seabird Marina. And watch your step. Because as you enter the gate right here, this is where we usually walk through the gate to go down to the Andre. It usually docks right over there. We're missing rings out of the steps right here. You have a look. This is us walking down the ramp. You gotta be a type walk, type of walker right now. That's looking down the steps. I'm gonna take a tour. I came to the other side of the lobster house and walking down where we usually walk down the ramp over there. You cannot, the rings are missing as I showed you. I'm walking down this ramp right here that's on the other side where you can see the devastation that the Sandy took. Here's a boat, the rowboat right here. It used to have two motors on the back. Filled up with water right now. You can see how the the boards, the boards got worn out. Where you see the little plate right here to walk up the ramp. Hurricane Sandy just buckled everything up over here. I'm walking in the middle right now. As you can see, boards. This is our docks right here, and boards are missing out of the dock. I'm trying to stay in the center here. As you can see, my feet. I'm walking on the center board right here. I'm gonna walk this board all the way down to the end. We're at low tide right now. I'm walking all the way down. Umberto's. This is his Grady White right here. She's still, she survived the storm. Although she got beat up on the side right here, I can see where he took a little beating on the side of his support. Wow, look at this anchor. Look how bent this anchor is right now. Almost like a U, like a C. From hitting the dock right there, boom. Boom. And this is my stopping point right here. You can see I can walk right through and fall in. And you can see the devastation. This is the lobster house. Look at the piling. The piling used to be erect. Like the piling right there. And I heard you were able to just put your hand on the top of that pilot. This is where I go no further. This pilot is leaned over to the side right there. Grandpa, God rest his soul, I see his son didn't take the boat out of the water. That shows how much he cared about the boat. Rest in peace, Grandpa. As you see, this little boat, the white boat that's right there in the middle, it took a beating, a terrible beating. The pulpit is missing off the front of this boat right here. The pulpit is gone. The pulpit usually stick underneath those two rails that's in the center, but it's gone. This boat took a terrible beating. I'm surprised that even these boats lasted here. Look at this slip right here, this finger. It used to extend, got toe up right there. Look like Sandy just snapped it right there. Bah! This little corner right here is where Sweet docked his boat. Look at the cleat, Sweet. Look at that cleat right there. Twist it out. This is where sweets dock. And you can see. And this little spot is where Gigi docks, right here. This is a boat that Sandy just ripped off, like almost like a crab. Just ripped the top off this boat. No, this was not a rowboat. 
I'll show you. That's the bottom half. That's the hole. Right here is the hole. This is the bow right there that's supposed to go right there on top of that. Peeled it. It's peeled. As you can see, the rust marks all the way up to the top of the pole. Here comes Hey Hey walking the gaunt the gauntlet. Now, I don't know where this came from or where it even belongs. <laughs> it came from somewhere. Over there is where the riptide docks. And if you see, for some reason, it got wedged underneath the finger with Saul step dots. Saul, good thing your boat wasn't here, because your boat would have been crushed. Exactly that, I don't know. His boat would have been total. That's where Saul docked, right here. His boat would have been in half too. It's amazing. Some of these boats just weathered the storm. Huh, with a little canopy damage. Wow. A bay liner. They might be better boats than they say. And I know for sure there was a boat that sank right here. I don't see it now. And this is my man paid for a boat right here. He survived. Yes, he got some um, little damage around the edges. Well, he survived it. Now, there's something that didn't make it. I think if this was my boat, I would have just came down and cried. This is a trophy. It did not make it. And it has a hole right there. You can see where it must have been beat up against the dock. And it must have been beat up so much that it couldn't take it no more. So there's no upright in this boat. This is a total right here. This boat is a total. It's a trophy. Here we see the motor, the outdrive. You can see what I'm seeing. The mark on the pole, this tide went all the way up there. And that's like about three feet from the top. Wow. About three feet. See that mark, that rust mark from the bottom to the top. About three feet. Another three feet and this whole marina would have been washed away. As you see how tall this pole is over here, this pole is three feet taller than the pole on this side. And this is what I mean by three feet more that would have been washed away. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about this pole is three feet shorter than the other pole. And if you look, the rust mark went all the way up past the pole. So the guy that holds it on, the U, came up, over, and off. If all the poles would have been this side, this size right here, the whole marina would be gone right now.
leaning up against it. Once again, the water has risen all the way up to the top of this pole and over. Sandy was no joke. As we walk out, you see the rings. We know that it came over this pole. You can look at the rust mark, but by some chance, it's, it's, it got it righted itself. It was off this pole. That pole that we just passed right there is much shorter than this pole right here, and you can see the U is off again. off. Wow, I don't even know how this marina survived.